What's going on everybody and welcome to my if elif else tutorial video for Python 3. The idea of this is to add yet another layer of logic to our pre-existing if and now else statement. See with our typical if else statement, the if will be checked for sure uh, and the else will only run if the if fails. But what if you wanted to check multiple if statements? Well, you could write them all in, so you could have if, blah, 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 if, blah, 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 if, blah, 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 though this is really somewhat improper if you actually desire every single if statement to be checked, um, and you actually want it to be all in like one big grouping, because without it, if you have multiple, just multiple ifs, the else is only going to apply to the last if statement. So, um, so there's nothing wrong with writing multiple ifs if they're necessary, and you want them all to run and you don't want them to be like tied together in one big loop. Otherwise, you should use the elif statement. So, uh, and the elif is, uh, again, short for else if, basically. So, uh, let's go ahead and start. So we're gonna say x equals five, y equals 10, oops, and z equals 22. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if x is greater than y print, x is greater than y. So we know that's gonna fail, but we'll throw that there anyways. L if x is less than z print, x is less than z. So we're pretty confident that's gonna uh, work out for us. Uh, else, we'll just say print, uh, if and l if maybe multiple elifs never ran save run and it turns out one of our statements what did indeed run and that is the x is less than z but we can come down here and we could even add even more statements like we could say l if um, five is greater than uh, let's see. Let's let me think here. Let's see. X is less than Z. So like, what if we did something like this? Five is greater than two. Colon print. Um, five is greater than two. So in the old-fashioned way of doing our like multiple if statements, this statement would would reign true and trigger the printage of five is greater than two. But here, let's see what happens. We'll save and run it. And again, we only got x is less than z. Now, the reason this happened is this is all one big loop. So basically, it's asking if this is the case, do it. L if, do this. L if, do this. But what happened was this was triggered as true. And then the rest of this uh, block that's all tied together was broken. And it and it just left, right? And that's the idea of the L if, is as soon as it finds something that's true, it's not going to continue searching. Uh, to see if it's true. So uh, by the same token though, we could do something like this, elif equal 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 equal, and then we could run this, and then it, but and in this case, it finally got to this elf statement, and nothing ever ran, so indeed it printed out if and elifs never ran for us. So as you can see, the elif statement kind of it does indeed, it just adds one more layer of logic to your script, um, or your program, but it, at least in this case, it's just a simple script. Uh, but it adds one more bit of logic to it where you can kind of start tying these things into, into each other and using their properties to actually start building some pretty interesting uh, logic. So anyways, uh, that's going to conclude the if, elif, else, uh, I don't know, I would, would say pairing, but it's not pairing. Anyways, the putting together. And uh, so hopefully you guys learned something new. Hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying the uh, learning Python and all of that. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support and your subscriptions. And until next time.